Right, so big news. OpenAI just introduced their new models, the OpenAI 01. And today I'm gonna to go over what these models are, how you can get access to them, and exactly what they do. So we have the 01 preview, which uses advanced reasoning, and the 01 meaning, which is a bit faster at reasoning. Now, before I show you how this works, here's basically what this means. So these models are trained to spend more time thinking through problems before they respond, just like a woman you do, would do, right? They spend more time thinking about the answer before they give it up. And the best example for this is if you ask it this question, right? How many characters are there going to be in your reply to this, right? So it is a hard question because it needs to think, right? Okay, I'm gonna to reply to this question, but at the same time in my reply, I need to know before saying it, what I'm going to say, right? So it can count the characters. In fact, of course, there are 38 characters in this reply. If you count it, right? The whole letters, the spaces, plus the dot at the end, it is 38 characters. So this is what these models do, right? They're, they're thorough training, they learn to refine their thinking process, they try different strategies and recognize their mistakes. So if you just open this up, right, it gives you the whole, right, thought process behind the answer, okay? So it's super cool, this is basically what they do, and again, they announced it later, um, a couple hours ago, we're releasing a preview of OpenAI 1, a new series of AI models designed to spend more time thinking before they respond. So just like human, these models can reason through complex tasks and solve harder problems, sorry, than previous models in science, coding, and math. So insane, it is It is pretty cool. And you go here to this page, I'll leave links for all this down below, right? Here's the speed at which these models um, can act and can give you answers, right? GPT-40, 01 mini, 01 preview, as you can see, it does take more time, but because it takes more time, because they put a lot more thought into their answers, right? The answers in theory are gonna be uh, more correct and more thought out, okay? So you'd use GPT-40 maybe for simpler things, quicker things, and these two new models for if you want more accurate information, or if you notice that maybe you're using GPT-40 and it's not giving you the actual answer that you know it's true as a human, then you use this one. For example, a big problem or one of the problems was how many R's are in straw, in the word strawberry, and it say like, say like the wrong answer. Now it will count them actually one by one and tell you the right answer. So that's basically it, okay? And so final thing right here is that in their tests, this outperformed PhD students on challenging benchmark tasks in physics, chemistry, and biology. So it is it is insane. You can read through this. I'll leave a link down below for all this stuff. But it is pretty crazy that the models are getting so, so, so good right now. And the fact that they can now reason just like humans opens up a whole new set of possibilities for, for us. And also their API for these new models, it's 80% cheaper. So for any softwares that you may be using for content generation. Let's say, for example, you're using Journalist AI, right? Because the costs of the API are 80% cheaper, right? The model is not only better, but it's gonna be cheaper for the end user. Okay, so it's pretty cool if you're a developer, if you're developing in this area, right? Having a better model, in theory, better for certain things, right? It is slower, so it's not better in that sense, but better in a certain sense, be cheaper as well, it is one of the best things at that uh, that they've done so far. Now, speaking of journal CI, if you don't know what this is, right, this ties in with the whole GPT thing because you can basically generate articles, right, just off of uh, using AI. So let me just go here and type in Audi, for example. I generated this article like a couple weeks ago and it's basically a review of this new car that came out, right? I can just open this up right here and this was all done with AI, even the images, right? Now, this was all generated off of AI. This is actually based on a video. So the input was basically, I went here to generate articles tab, clicked on YouTube and I used the YouTube to blog post. So I took this URL of this YouTube video, right? And it basically converted this video of this car review into an article about the car review, right? Now, something that's pretty cool about this is that this is not just a writer, right? You can just go here and say, uh, add a dog, right? And it's not just gonna, not going to add a picture of a dog, right? It's going to add a picture of the dog, taking into account the whole context of the article plus the context of, <clears throat> excuse me, the image itself. So as you see here, it added a, do a dog, right, to an image of the car, right? Because it has the whole context of the article itself. Let's say, for example, here, say, um, put it under water, right? Boom, boom. So again, it takes in your prompt also the context of the whole article, right? There you go. The same car, an Audi Q8, in this example, it's the model, underwater, right? You can do the same thing for text. Let's say, for example, you wanna add links here, add external links, right? It will add 
if you read through the paragraph plus the article as a whole, right, and find relevant places with relevant anchor texts to add links to. You can even preview this as you see here. I just added a bunch of links to my article, right? If you were to do this manually, it would take you so much time, right? It's insane. You have to go and find the links you want to link out to, or sorry, the articles you want to link out to, then choose the anchor text. It takes so much time. Let's say, for example, you want to change this. You want to rewrite it, write this as a pirate. I don't know why you want to do this, <clears throat> but you can make it more professional, make it like as a pirate as you see here, uh, R, whatever, right? Except you can take this and uh, you can make it longer, make it shorter, simplified. You can even make a table. Let's say you want to put this info into a table form. You can, there you go. You can make a list out of it. You can do so much stuff. So it's much more than just an article generator, right? It does generate amazing articles, news articles as well, Amazon product reviews. You can convert YouTube videos into blog posts. You can also index your content on Google automatically. There's auto linking, there's social media syndication, there's automatic blogging. There's a lot of stuff right here. And the reason why I mention this is because of course, any improvements that AI and these LLMs have, right? Whether that's OpenAI, Perplexity, any of these other mo models, right? That's Google's model, right? Any of these models, as they improve, so do products like Journal CI. Full disclosure, I own this, so that's that's why I'm also promoting it right here. But as these models get better, so do these tools. And so if you've watched this far and you wanna give it a go, um, click the link in the description or the, in the pinned comment and try it, you can try it out for free. And if you wanna like actually buy it, go here, click this little chat bubble and ask the guys on support for a coupon. Tell them you came from Vasco, you came from this video and say, listen, I want a coupon code, Vasco told me I can get one. And they'll give you one uh, if you ask. So yeah, that's it, that's the video. I'll leave links for all this down below in the description so you can just check it out for yourself. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.